everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Texters Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this inset brick stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a very easy stitch to work. Uh, it has some texture, not a whole lot, so it's not too overwhelming. Uh, it's not quite a solid fabric, uh, but has a little bit of give and uh, air to it as well. So this is the front and this is your back side pretty but you don't get that texture. So today we're going to be learning how to work this stitch with a five millimeter crochet hook as well as some worsted weight cotton yarn. This is Pima by Lion Brand Yarn. Uh, you can use whatever yarn and hook that you choose. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, say hello down in the comments and perhaps let me know how you would use this stitch in a project once we learn how to work it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of four stitches plus two. Today I'm going to begin by working 22 chains. And there's 22 and I believe I neglected to mention at the beginning of the tutorial if you're looking for a free written copy of this stitch you can find it on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com so once you have worked your foundation chain with a multiple of four plus two stitches you're going to begin by working a single crochet into that second chain from your hook you're then going to chain four, skip the next three stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain four, skip the next three stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. Once you come all the way across, you have four stitches left remaining. Chain four, skip three, and single crochet into your final stitch. You're then going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row two, into this first chain four space, work three double crochet stitches. So you're just working them right into the chain four space. Followed by a double crochet into your next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across three double crochet stitches into your chain four space and a double crochet into the next single crochet stitch all the way to the end. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, single crochet into your first stitch and chain four. Skip the next three double crochet stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across, chain four, 
skip the next three and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to do that all the way across and then work your final single crochet stitch into the top of your turning chain. At the end of your row three, chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row four, just as you did before, you're going to work three double crochet stitches into that first chain four space. Next, you're going to work a front post triple stitch around the post of the double crochet stitch two rows below. So this is our single crochet stitch, then just down below it you have this double crochet. You're going to work a front post triple stitch. To work your front post triple stitch, yarn over twice, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post, uh, going from front through to the back, out through the front again of that double crochet two rows below, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. You're then going to work what, uh, three double crochet stitches into the next chain four space. followed by your front post triple stitch around the post of the double crochet stitch two rows below. Repeat that all the way across ending with a double crochet stitch into your final single crochet. At the end of your row four, you're working a final double crochet into your single crochet stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows three and four for as long as you would like. The only difference is that when you're working your row four, you won't be working into the double crochet two rows below, but you'll be working around the post of that triple stitch two rows below. So that's all there is to working this inset brick stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to say hello and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.